What's good, YouTube? Perhaps the only card to have a bigger screw job than Stratos is Fright for Patchwork. Fright for Patchwork is an amazing starter card for the Fright for Fluffle archetype, and time and time and time again, it seems like we're gonna get it, and then we don't get it. So let me talk about what Konami's doing with this card. It's like when you are talking to your grandparents about Christmas, and you say you want that new Xbox One, and they seem very receptive to getting you that Xbox One. And then Christmas rolls around, and what's in the, uh, the bag? It's an Xbox 360. It's not an Xbox One, and there's a huge difference, but perhaps Grandma and Grandpa don't really understand the difference. Well, I feel like that's heavily what's happened here with Fright for Patchwork. It's just getting the ultimate screw job, whether uh, they know it or not. You see, it really uh, started with Duelist Saga. Duelist Saga, if you recall, had murmurs from a convention that showed a slideshow of a pack with Stardust on it that didn't happen. Stardust isn't in the set. And Fright for Slash Fluffle support in the description. That never happened and it got pushed back. And it was put towards the Duelist pack that's coming out. I believe this is Dimensional Guardians, if I'm not wrong. And everyone was super excited that we would still get it in time for the WCQ. Well, now the spoilers are starting to come out. And the organization pretty much has every card that is in the set, I believe. And... The two Fright for cards here are Fright for Daredevil and Fright for Reborn. Oh, man. Also, there was, like, supposed to be more Raid Raptor support, we assumed, I think. And there is one Raid Raptor card. Just very interesting that... Oh, they must have definitely wanted the entire Cyber Angel archetype. Oh, man. Uh, a lot of people are upset. They're gonna calling for this to be the worst sold set ever. I don't know if it's going to sell worse than a star pack, but this is definitely one of the most deflating duels packs I think I've ever seen. Cyber Angels, huh? It's not bad, but this was already cheap and affordable, like... Uh, Ritual Sanctuary was down to a very low price relative to what it did. All the Cyber Angels were very easy to get. None of this is exciting at all. Uh... Sure, the Jack Atlas cards. Yeah, Jack Atlas. Woo. But I, I just think that was the biggest seller of this set, was that Patchwork was going to be in here. And it's just oddly missing. I, I just think, once in a while, Konami does this thing where you can cry and cry and cry for what you want. And then they're like, ah, something else like this is okay. <sighs> Patchwork definitely has the worst of it overall, though, not even getting into the hands of the players. The last chance for this card, for us to play in uh, our WCQ slash Nationals, is Battles of Legend. And I think that's too late for everybody else's WCQ, but DZ had made a promise to me, huh? That he would be playing the Fright for Fluffles and I would be playing... The dinosaurs. Well, I don't blame him if he's not playing it, if we're not getting one of the ultimate starter cards for the deck. If you guys don't know what Fright for Patchwork does, you add a polymerization and an edge monster from your deck to your hand, and you can only activate one of these cards per turn. It's pretty good for the archetype, and one of the greatest starters slash uh, extenders that the deck has, depending on where you're using it. It's just insane that uh, the archetype isn't even that prevalent if they get it. It's just a really good card for them. Yet, it's it's the piece they want the most and they're just not getting it. And may not get in time to play with before Link Format. Thanks for watching, guys. And what do you guys think? Uh, do you guys think it's a good thing it's not here? Do you all... <laughs> oh, fluffle players. Uh, I, I definitely think it's just not cool.